that's exactly what Ralph, Ralph's, Ralph's was. We're gonna keep looking in this creek, see if we can find some more. Are we gonna do this before we find anything? <laughs> We're gonna try this, why not? My name's Matt, this is Gone Digging. That's Ralph, he's got a thousand different aliases now, thanks to Kurt and some other people. Um, we are at a great spot here that Ralph has been really successful at. And uh, we're gonna try to find something, um, something exciting. But here's something else exciting. Uh, look at that, look at that fresh new Equinox. Not even pulled the screen protector off. Ralph's new water machine. Huge shout out to Jerry at Cold Harbor Metal Detectors. If you need a machine, I'll put a uh, website and Facebook in the description. He will hook you up. So let's go find something. Not even gonna acknowledge me. Ralph just picked that up. Can you get that dirt off of the right meow? I think it's a largey. Uh, like a stick. Would that would that ring up on the? That was a 22. Odd. Would have thought it'd been higher than that. Definitely. Um, probably. Who knows what that is? We'll see if we can clean that up real quick, and uh, we'll come back when it's all done. First good target with the Equinox. Oh, yeah. That was like no doubt. Whoop, 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 whoop. Just, but it's, uh, it's a different tone. Yep. Different numbers, different tone. Yep. <clears throat> I've been digging wire at 15 inches. Yeah. It's, it's driving me crazy. And it's that wire. Yeah, and answering phone calls, and that's horrible. Cleaned her up a little bit, and you can see one scent across the back. And then you can see just barely Liberty across there. And that would make it probably a matron, would be my guess. But this this farm field has not been nice to this <laughs> young lady. <laughs> so, nice job, Ralph. Really? <clears throat> well, not much I could do about that. Right on underneath this root here was this. And that is the remnants of what once was. General Service Eagle button and it just fell apart on me not much we can do it still doesn't make you happy when it happens you can see the back of the eagle right there all right stuff is thick in here but it's not as bad as Ralph says it was and uh, I may be having a big mistake with that coil on because this flat button was right in the hole and it was again right on top of the ground so I doubt anything's gonna be really deep is that your experience shallow stuff in here Ralph it's been some deep stuff in here too all right so intermix but there's a flat that's wild so Ralph just found that <clears throat> that is off of a gunboat that is a gigantic frag probably a hundred and fifty pound shell maybe a hundred pounder uh -huh. But regardless, huge. Yep. Wouldn't so, want that to hit me. No. Well, you wouldn't. You wouldn't know it. That's nice. <clears throat> and I just got me a big piece of one too. That thing probably weighs five, ten pounds. That thing don't weigh nothing compared to that one I hauled. Uh, <laughs> Ralph, Ralph found a uh, found half of one of these shells, and it weighed probably 150 pounds. Um, man, it's giant. All right, let's go wave my pack down. <clears throat> it's taking me a little bit of a time, but that appears to be another Merrill carbine bullet. And that's, I mean, uh, I don't, I'm, I think I've only, this is only the second one I've ever found. So that's very cool. A little crusty, but that's all right. You may have noticed that over the last few videos, this camera looks awful cloudy. And that's because, well, I've dirtied it up quite a bit. Hopefully in the next few months, we'll be getting ourselves a new camera. But until now, until then, we're gonna switch spots and we're gonna show you what we found so far. No junk in there. So Ralph found a few things. Oh, slits! Of all the malt liquors in the world, that's the best. 
Uh, so there's his junk. And let's see what Ralph finds. Oh, he's got his large scent, which we did find one scent on. He's got a three ringer. And sorry for not that that not being in the frame. And a Merrill car beam. So nice work, Ralph. Here's mine. I've got a couple large shell frags. One is just sitting on a stump in the woods. Broken eagle button, piece of lead, one Merrill carbine, and one flat button undetermined. So, not bad, not great. Beats working. Well, that's pretty neat. And I think I did that. So I've been on a roll today. But that was a huge signal. And we got a whole spoon. Let's see if there's anything else down there while we're here. Seems like it. More piece of the spoon bowl. I bet the whole spoon bowl is there. But we'll look and see. But anyway, there's most of it, and that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. I haven't found one of these in a long, long time. That should have a little bit of wood in the bottom there, and that should be a ramrod tip. Uh, at least that's what I believe it is, if anybody else knows for sure. Um, but we'll look it up. Should have some wood in the bottom, and I'll know for sure pretty soon. That's a very neat relic. All right, it's been a while since I thought I really had anything worth recording. I dug a piece of a Matchbox car up, and that's about it. But I feel like this is a bullet signal. There it is, right there. That's great. Yep, three ringer. Oh man, I think somebody made that into a uh, a nipple protector. It's exactly what they did with that, where they smashed it down hard. We'll have to clean the base out, but I think that's what they did with it. They normally cut them down and make them shorter, but who knows? These guys are doing crazy stuff out here. All right, now we've got something going. That is another Merrill carbine. And that one was pretty deep as well. I'm really excited about that one. It's got a nice shape to it. A little plow struck, but overall, not bad. All right, we're gonna switch it up again. We're gonna go to the hillside where Ralph found this big shell. I hope we can find piece of a giant shell so here we go <clears throat> so I told Ralph I wanted to hunt this creek bottom because I thought there would be something cool in it well I was kept pinpointing kept pinpointing and kept pinpointing and I was like look at that weird ass rock oh excuse my language look at that weird rock that is a part of Ralph's giant shell that thing is huge that is one of the largest Civil War artillery fragments I have ever found. And it's just laying right here on top of the ground, ready to be picked up. Man, that's cool. Didn't need much of a machine to find that one. It doesn't look like much, but there's another piece of Ralph's shell. Uh, his shell he found in here was a uh, ground burst. This is a 15 inch Rodman. That's exactly what Ral Ralph's, Ralph's was. We're gonna keep looking in this creek, see if we can find some more. Well, overall, we had a pretty good day. Ralph's got some giant frags in his pocket and uh, I'm fairly exhausted, so that's a win. Uh, Ralph, what do you think about the Equinox? First day using it. It's gonna take some getting used to. It's gonna take some getting used to. That's with any machine. First day you used it, 
shouldn't be the last. So we hope you enjoy this episode. We'll uh, throw down a little bit of what we found here on the back of the truck. And uh, for your view and pleasure. My name's Matt. This is Gone Digging. That's Dirty Randy there behind us. We'll see you next time. Now that right there is some artillery shells. Good God. How long do you think that thing will last in the ground before it disappears? I don't know. It's got some uh, round balls, a Merrill, three ringer, not a bad day. Some gigantic frags. I think you guys saw everything that I found. Couple bolt, couple Merrells, three ringer, uh, we, weird piece of brass, I don't know what that is. A flat button and a busted eagle button and another piece of lead. So. Overall, good times.